I think that buying a hot tub is not an impulsive purchase. Yeah. For some people it will be. They'll just think, oh, I'll just buy it, it's a few thousand pounds, whatever. But for me, I wanted to look at things like um, the running costs and what are the best options? You know, my husband's got sensitive skin as an example. So what chemicals could we use? Is that going to be a problem? And I originally looked online, you know, they seem quite cheap. Not cheap, but 3,000, 4,000, you think, oh, I can pick them up. But I like to do my research into things. So when I started delving into everything, I thought, oh, hang on a minute. There's a lot more to this than just go buy one off the internet and get it delivered. You've got to think about how do you maintain it? What about the chemicals? And there seemed, it seemed to be quite a lot of information to take in. Mm. And that's when I came across the What Spa um, magazine. And I thought, well, I'll sign up for that and see what that has to say. And that was really useful because it had lots of information. Um, and as I was reading about it, I wasn't in any rush to get it, to be honest with you. I knew I'd want it for the long term. So I started reading all the different options, <laughs> which in itself is like, whoa. A few people have said to me, oh, how did you, you know, did you buy it off the internet? I said, it's a bit like buying a car, actually. You, you can buy a car, but if you've got a bad dealer, then you're not going to get the service you're looking for. And actually buying it's one thing and then maintaining it over the long term is another. So I think it's important to understand where are you buying it from? What things are important to you? Um, for us, it wasn't so straightforward because I'm really short. I'm five foot one and my husband's six foot four. And then we've got our daughter as well. So we all had different needs. Like he needs to fit in it and feel comfortable in it. I need to feel like I'm not drowning because it's too deep. And my daughter just wants to use it like a swimming pool, basically. So we had all these different needs that we wanted and then finding the right thing that had the right level of hydrotherapy, that had, you know, something fun for our daughter. Those things all had to be considered. So yeah, it took me a little bit of time to find what I was looking for, but um, I found the magazine and the resources there really, really helpful. It helped me know which questions to ask when I went to the various places. And I only went to a couple of, two or three places and did wet tests at two places. So by that point, I kind of knew what I was looking for. And then you wet test them and then that's a whole different yeah. ballpark as well because then you're trying them out and you think, ah, oh, I thought I'd like that one. So I found the um, the best buy list really good actually to see what features you would get with each of the spas and that helped kind of guide me towards what I wanted. So yeah, it's, you know, you've got to do a bit of research initially to see what kinds of things you want and why do you want it? Do you want it because you want to have parties in it? Or do you like, is it a social thing or is it more for having hydrotherapy or is it more you just want something to relax and have family time in so I think the worst thing you can do is just see something online and buy it and also I really didn't believe that you didn't need to have 100 jets <laughs> yeah. until I tried them and then realized actually fewer more powerful the right type of jets is better because yeah. the pumps can feed those jets and you get a more powerful massage so for us um, I remember we tried one and my daughter loved it but it, we were like, it's a bit, it's not really powerful enough. Okay. And then we tried another one that was super powerful and it was almost too much. Right. <laughs> so then we got the Goldilocks one, which was just in the middle, yeah. <laughs> just right. Yeah, I'm really using it as a relaxation thing um, and family time. So we were in it the other day, three of us, and we were playing a game with our daughter. So that was really good fun as well. Mm. But I'd say we use it in the evenings more. And I've used it sometimes at night when it's late to put the lights on. That is so lovely to just look up, see the stars. It's interesting because I'm using it a lot in the summer, but I think in the winter, what would be nice is the fact that it is freezing cold outside and you're in that and it's really nice and warm because you can get quite hot. Yeah. <laughs> and so to have the cold on your head is, is really quite refreshing. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. So it's good because you can use it all year round. Do your research, take your time, go and test them out, get the magazine, because then that gives you an overview of the whole market of the ones that are reputable.